So I want to head out and try to tame up some more cinema crops so we can try to do some breeding later. But before we do that, let me show you something that you guys taught me about cinema crops. And also, we got to grab that purple drop. Yeah, it's already fully down. Cool. So uh, when you're in the air, you can actually activate a parachute mode, which is this right here. And obviously, you can tell the wings are not flapping or anything like that. We're falling down very, very slowly. And of course, you don't take any fall damage when you do that. To activate that, you got to hold down X. And I'm not sure what button that is on console. Maybe somebody in the comments can let everybody know. Uh, yeah, uh, that's one thing that I wanted to quickly show off and check out. The other thing that I wanted to do was quickly just make up a full set of chitin armor because I want to see what will happen when my little friend right here sees me wearing chitin. Because out in the wild, if you're wearing chitin, these things will apparently attack you. So I just want to see what he'll do. I'm really hoping that he kills me. I think that would be really hilarious. <laughs> Could you imagine this little guy just full on just like untapes from me and immediately murders my face and eats my body? Let's see. Um, I feel like he would have done something already. Yeah, no reaction. Doesn't seem like it. All right, cool. Well, at least we know. Uh, I think I might keep this chitin armor on me just so we have that for later. Maybe I'll try and see if a wild one will kill me or something. We'll see. But uh, let me quickly... Oh, that is not what I wanted to pick up. I want to pick up my little friend. Let me quickly just go ahead and grab this drop right here. So I just hit X there and we're in parachute mode. I'm not actually even holding X, by the way. Uh, so that's pretty cool that you can just do that. Here we go. Can I open this? Oh, I just realized. Okay, there we go. That was that's terrible. I actually have backspace on, so I couldn't even see. Um, all right, let me fly back up here. So I want to just prep some gear, and then we're going to head on over to the jungly area. Maybe check out that little Aztec temple thingy as well, actually. Yeah, we could totally do that. I imagine that there's probably going to be some cinema crops around there, to be honest. So we'll do that, and then we'll try to tame up some more of these dudes and maybe see if we can do some breeding as well today. I think that would be great. So yeah, guys, go ahead. Do me a favor. Hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one, and uh, let me clear up my stuff, and we'll get into it. Oh, wow, there's another purple drop on my way. I guess I can try to grab that. I just want to glide from up here. Oh, wow, there's another purple drop there as well. What the hell? Why is there so many purple drops? Uh, oh, my God. Why are we getting terrible stuff? What the hell? Why? <laughs> That's so awful. Oh my god, I literally grabbed that purple drop and there's already another one there? That is so silly. <laughs> Why is there so many of them? It's like four within a few, you know, like what? <laughs> what is happening? All right, we got a Rex nearby here and a Carno as well, so we got to be cautious. Uh, okay, a scope. At least that's something I can actually use when I get a rifle. Um, let's start flying. Let's get up here and then glide the rest of the way. All right, so we're gliding all the way over to this little Aztec temple, which I think is roughly around that mountain just ahead of me there. But real quick, I just want to say something because this is really amazing. Um, earlier on this year, oh my god, that was so loud. Earlier on this year, I, I said something that I was kind of hoping for, but I really didn't think that it would happen. I said, I think it would be great if we could hit a million subs before the end of the year. And, you know, as it kind of got on with the months and everything, and I kind of took a little bit of a break and, and everything, and um, it kind of didn't really seem like that was going to happen, which I was okay with, you know. But now it it looks like that's probably going to happen, which is really crazy. Um, earlier on this month, before I dropped the 100 days video, I was at 940, and now we're at almost 990. It's honestly kind of crazy. We got 10,000 more to get to a million subs. I, I had no idea this would happen. I knew that that video would do well, but I had no idea that this many people would join the channel. And then we have the Lost Island, and, and that's helping as well. I just want to say thanks to everybody that's been here for ages. Lots of you have been here for a long time, and I appreciate you so much. And then to everybody new that's just discovering this channel or maybe even just discovering ARK. Thank you for being here. <laughs> that's all I want to say. And uh, we're likely going to hit a million very, very soon. And I'll do some sort of celebration thing. It's all happened so fast and I really don't have anything planned, but I don't know. Maybe we could do another drug stream. Who knows? It's empty. <coughs> oh, no. Oh, oh my god. My god. <laughs> what Shit, what okay. happened? <laughs> this time, I won't drink a full liter of Captain Morgan's though, okay? I, I promise you that because I'm not a young man anymore and I would probably die. All right, so it turns out I completely passed by it. I went like in that direction there. So it's right over here. Uh, let's try to get a little bit closer. We'll just like parachute the rest of the way here. 
Um, all right, cool. So let me show the rough coordinates as well, just so you guys can find it. Uh, what is that? 2340-ish, something? I don't know. You should be able to find it, though, if you're on a flyer, at least. Um, all right, cool. Let me check out this area. I don't actually know if there's anything here. There could be, like, a little cave or something. Who knows? There's got to be some cinema crops around here, though. This is a big open area. I guarantee that there's a couple of them around here. Uh, we just got to keep an eye out for the little hearts and everything. All right, let me check out this area then. So we got a bunch of these like little buildings here. Very cool. This big ass temple right here. Let's head on up these stairs. This looks super steep. <laughs> I, those steps are tiny as well. What the hell? Are those even steps? Who? What are, are these steps for babies? Who the hell makes the stairs like this? That is very unsafe in wet conditions. Um, <laughs> all right, I'm not sure what this one is. Maybe that's like the main thing over there. I actually don't know if there's anything inside of this thing. Probably not. I don't see a way in. All right, cool. Um, let's see. Let's just go straight over here. Check out this one. So we got monkeys, uh, except I don't know if Dinopithecus even spawn here, to be honest. Let's see. Let's go ahead and just kill this Dillo real quick. Actually, he's going to get spooked. There we go. <laughs> oh, man. I love that so much. All right. So I don't know if there's anything in here. Let's just take a little look. Um, don't really want to get roped up into like a big caving expedition or anything. Maybe there's an artifact in here. Who knows? Um, I have heard that a lot of the artifacts are locked behind actual caves, which is great. Uh, obviously in Crystal Isles, when that map came out, that was kind of awful because there was like no exploration at all. Um, so I'm at least glad that there's at least a couple caves on here. Um, yeah, I like that. That's the type of stuff I like to do in Ark. Um, all right. This is very strange. Oh, is that one of those weird plants? Oh yeah, it is. I can't remember. What are these things called? Does anybody know? I know that they smell like rotting, uh, flesh or something on the inside, right? I can't remember what they're called. They're basically... Uh, they have like seeds in there and they smell like rotting flesh to like get flies and stuff to come into them and then they'd obviously carry the seeds or the spores or whatever out of that and uh, bring them all around the place. We've actually got a bunch of them around here and everything. Look at this. There's just tons of them everywhere. It'd be kind of cool if they were like an actual creature that would like attack you or something. I don't know. Um, <laughs> anyway, I can't remember what they're called so let me know because uh, I, I completely forget. Let me see. What's down here? So just a giant ass temple. I don't know if there's actually anything in there. If we can do something in the inside or something like that. This is nice though. Uh, what the hell is that? Oh, it's like a little lantern or something. Cool. All right. We got to watch out. There's something in there eating things and I'm not sure what it is. Oh, it's the ducks. Okay. That's not so bad. Cool. Let's, uh, let's go back in here and just see if there's anything that I missed. Um, damn, this is so awesome though. I love this in the middle of the jungle and everything like it's such a cool vibe in this area uh let's see i'd love to live here but it's uh it looks quite overgrown and everything like the ground isn't super flat so it'd be kind of hard to build on the inside but i don't know i definitely like this though this is cool can i run up this oh yeah you can look at this sweet all right well i don't know if there's any um if there's anything in there if i miss something let me know maybe i can come back and check it out but this is really impressive i like it i love it i really do um are there any cinema crops around here, though? That is the question. Let me go over to here. We'll, like, parachute down. Ooh, there we go. Okay, I accidentally started the parachute, and then I took it away. Let's see. Any cinema crops at all? Don't really see any. Hmm. All right, well, uh, we're going to have to take a look for them. So, damn it. I was really hoping that we could find some here. All right. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think I might just head towards the coast then in that case. Because I really don't want to try and chase them through the jungle here. That would be awful. Hello, little guy. 162. Hey. All right. I'm going to follow this thing around. 162 is pretty good. Obviously, 180 is my max level, but that's that's decent. Oh, there's a different one. Wait, what level are you? 54. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I don't want to tame you. I feel so bad, though. Aw. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I can't have, I can't have tons of them. Plus, you know, if you were a better level, then I definitely would tame you. I'm so sorry. Uh-oh, no! No, it just got attacked by a Carno, damn it. Oh, you suck, you dick. Level 18. Dude, I could have killed that thing. I really should have. Uh, all right, whatever. We can start again. It's fine. 
We probably won't lose a level on this thing. Huh. I kind of want to take this, but I don't know. I don't know if there's any Argies around. I'll have to come back for it. I'll get this thing tamed and then maybe I'll pick it up. Because obviously that's just going to aggro Argies to me. And we don't want that right now. All right, here it comes. This is going to be the last feed. Oh, no, it's dropping. No. Oh, I fed it. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> it just started to drop at that exact time. Oh, my God. That is so unlucky. All right, follow me. Wait, it is. Is it following me right now? It kind of looks like it is, but it isn't. Huh, that's weird. I guess maybe that's just a visual bug. It probably is actually following me. Uh, it still doesn't say it, which is so weird. Okay, I don't really understand why. That's fine. We're actually going to go ahead and put this thing into a uh, little soul ball, which is kind of like a modded version of a cryopod for anybody who doesn't know. Um, let's actually see. Is this one good? 43 points into health is pretty decent. Oh my god, it's melee 54 points? That is insane. Wow, okay, this little guy packs a punch. And he's actually got a uh, thousand, or I guess she, whatever. It's got a thousand health, which is pretty decent. Um, okay, all right, all right. Let's uh, let's let's try and find another one. I, uh, I'm i gonna be honest, I don't know where that RG egg is. I think it was over there. I have no idea. <laughs> I've been chasing this little thing all over the place. Uh, maybe it's over here. I think it actually might be. If I can't find it, it's fine. Like, it's not, you know, it's not crucial, but I don't know. It'd be kind of nice if we did have that. We could cook it up into some kibble at some point. Oh, huh, okay. That's, uh, that's not bad. I mean, it is a primitive, but it is free. And it's slightly better than primitive as well, actually. What was it, like 130 damage? Yeah, not bad. And we have a scope now as well. Amazing. Now we just need bullets. Mate boosted. Okay, where's your mate? This thing's not going to leave me alone. <laughs> oh, whoa, is that it? Oh my god, that thing's beautiful. Ah, oh, it's gone. <laughs> it's so far away. I don't want to spook this one. If I spook this one, all the other ones around are going to get spooked. That was a beautiful red one. I need to check out the level on that thing. I barely caught it. I don't know what it actually said. Um, god damn it. All right, come here, little guy. Can I actually feed you? All right, I'm just going to feed it anyway just to get it to, like, leave me alone for a bit. Um, got another one here. <gasps> Whoa, that's a 180. Oh, and it's a male. Oh my god, as well. Look at those colors. Like, what the hell? That thing's beautiful. It's got like white. Is that white on the top? Or like lavender, maybe? It's kind of hard to tell. And it's got like a reddy, orangish, uh, freaking underwing part. Don't know what to call that. Uh, that's cool. I want to tame you. Come here. Come here. Look at me. Hey, come here, little guy. It's a male, so that means this is our breeding pair. A 162 and a 180. Pretty good. I do really want to check out... Oh, it sees me. Here we go. Oh, it's excited. I'm excited too, little guy. Look at you. I love the way they approach. That is the cutest thing. Like, why do they have to do this? <laughs> is that the red one? That doesn't look like the red one. Okay. Come here, little guy. There you go. Oh, man. Those are really good colors, though. Damn. All right. What one's this? Uh, is that the red one I saw? It might have been. No, I think the other one was more red than that. All right, let me track this 180. I gotta be honest, like, I've been out here for a long-ass time. I'm so glad that we actually managed to find some good levels, though. It's kind of annoying, because you can't really even hurt them or, or hit them or anything like that. It's, it's very hard to kill them. So if there are low levels, there's not a whole lot I can do besides, you know, just let them stay there and potentially get killed themselves. Um, I need you to come to me. Once you get it around, like, 20 meters, it will come to you. So you want to stay close enough to them. And then, obviously, if you can't reach it, it will walk to you. Don't walk towards it. Don't walk away from it. Just stay still when it comes to you, and um, and it won't get spooked. Uh, okay, so 14%. That means, was that, like, 15 feeds in total? Okay, not bad. Here we go. The next feed. Come here. Come on. So yeah, if you stay within 20 meters, it seems to be like the optimal distance. The only thing is, is like, if they're flying around all over the place, it's going to be hard to do that. But right here where I am, I'm not going to move at all. It's going to keep flying at that cliff and then it's going to walk over to me. And then, I don't know, it might fly off somewhere once I feed it, but at least right now I know it's going to come to me really soon. The thing about these guys is that you're not actually able to even trap them at all. Look at this, it's already coming to me. This is crazy. 
you're not able to trap them if you trap them it won't allow you to tame it so they need to be free birds and they need to come to you and whenever you feed them they seem to fly directly over your head but as you can see it just keeps flying out that cliff this is perfect it's not going to stay here for this whole team that would be great but it's not going to happen but at least we're getting these first few feeds in by just staying right here so yeah i'm within 20 meters and it sees me whenever it wants food it will come directly to me uh i definitely think that the best way to try and get one is if you somehow manage to lead it into a cave if you could do that it's a way of trapping it somewhat with you know without actually having to build something which doesn't work of course and now it's flying away cool i mean we got what is that like five six feeds in or something that's a good amount i'm happy whoa there's an alpha raptor there hello it's alpha boosted oh that means that alpha's nearby quick fly oh man all right i'm not sure where that alpha is right now pretty nervous Okay, you need to go further away from me or else you're going to get eaten by this alpha. Or maybe you're going to fly down right beside me and then I can tame you and then we can leave. Either way, we need to do something. Let me see. Let me get this ready. Pop that right there. Uh, he's probably going to fly right down to me now. Oh, here we go. Yes, maybe. No. Is it happening? What is happening? What is he doing? He's coming to me. Are we good? You wanna you wanna be fed again? No? You ready? Oh, here we go! Okay. And wait for it. Yes! Alright, I'm I'm putting you away straight away. No, stay still. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Alright, get in the ball. <gasps> Fly! Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. Okay, get in the ball. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Okay, we're good. <gasps> okay alpha boosted where's that alpha raptor gone that's really scary i have no idea it's somewhere around here <laughs> okay uh let's see let's check these guys out together um so best health is on the female 43 points best stamina is on the male 43 points as well uh best weight is on the male 48 and then the best melee is that really good melee 54 points so pretty good uh pretty good stats i'm actually gonna try and get the best food as well which is 55 points wow okay sweet all right so we will get back to base and breed these two hello you're only a low level was this the one that i fed earlier i think it might have been no you pop up with the taming bar if you are all right bye <laughs> all right i'm going back to base now it's gonna be a long flight though and then we gotta breed these things all right, so we're back at base and these things are mating. They're almost done and then we'll have an egg to hatch up. But real quick, I actually saw a couple comments about this and I want to just test this out as well. Apparently, if you do the clappy mode, it uh, basically activates the scream on a Sinnoh. Let's test it. Oh, it does work. Cool. All right. So yeah, just do that little clappy mode whenever you want to uh, make your cinema crops scare the crap out of some small creatures. All right, cool. We got that egg. Uh, how do you hatch these, though? Is it going to need lots of heat or lots of cold? We got a campfire here. Let's uh, drop that right there. Let's see. And uh, that is too cold. All right, so we're probably going to make a little uh, torch circle or something. Let me see. What do we need for that? Let me actually just pull the engram for the torches. I'm actually just going to use regular ones because I really hate actually using the S plus ones because they have all, like fancy settings and stuff on them and it's just easier just to use these to be honest uh so we're gonna need just a couple different things for that cool um so yeah that is actually kind of nice the way you can just do the the scream on command whenever you want to can i break this rock some of these rocks are not breakable which is weird by the way uh i came here and there was another purple drop and now there's another one already i i don't understand it's like purple drop central over here it's freaking me out i'm not sure why it's like that but yeah <laughs> it's very very strange I think we need lots of flint as well, right? Pretty sure. Okay, well, that tw that's 20. That's way too many. <laughs> I don't even think... Oh, yeah, I probably do have enough for 20 in there. Uh, I think I'll craft maybe like 12 or 13 in total, and then we'll be good. All right, cool. We're going to need some wood to uh, light all these bad boys. The question is, can you clap mid-air? Oh, it does work. Cool. All right, we got... Do we have another egg? Yeah, we do. Sweet. And they are mating again. I have the mating intervals, like, basically minimum, so... There is no cooldown between it. That's just the way I like it. I like to breed creatures all the time. 
even from the very start here i'm like yeah you know what there's no point of even you know pretending that i don't want to be doing that Let's see now we got to fill all these things as well just uh instead of making a circle i'm just gonna make like a little line like this that'll be fine all right here we go can we incubate you yet yeah we can oh my god that's going quick all right do we have another egg uh close enough cool um let me see let's just get some of these ready i'm curious what these babies are actually gonna eat by the way like are they gonna eat chitin or meat uh oh my god they are so tiny holy crap you guys are good you're not starving yet all right cool let me get you inside here uh come here little guys all right we got another egg cool let's uh oh they are so small oh man all right <laughs> Look at them. They're so tiny. They look like little frogs, not little freaking dinosaurs. What? How did I pick that one up? Okay. That was weird. Um, I don't have the special gun thing to be able to just like pick them all up at once there. But um, yeah, let me see. So in terms of the high stats, okay. Uh, so dinosaur storage has lots of really useful things, indicators and stuff. So I can see that this male right here has the lower stamina and the lower oxygen, which is not important for me. And then this female has low stem and low uh, health as well. Okay, cool. So both of these right now are kind of useless. That's okay. We're probably going to go through quite... Oh my god, it's already hatched. Ooh, let's see. Okay, there we go. Gotta maybe not hatch them so close to the standing torches. This one I can already tell is going to have terrible stats compared to the parents. But that is okay. What are you... Okay, you're going to take a little bit before we're going to have another... Oh my god, we got a mutation? No way. What does that color look like? Kind of looks like poop. Um, I'm not sure what region that's on. These things are so tiny. <laughs> look at it. Oh my god. The little tongue sticking out as well. Oh, I can't kill you. <laughs> Dude, why do they have to make them so cute? Like, what the hell? Ah, oh, man. All right. Well, I can't really see the color region. Uh, like, I don't. It's probably that color right there in the middle of the wing. Uh, which is not very good. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. These these guys are really cute. We're going to need a really good name for one. Uh, I did see a couple of decent names, but I don't know. I just I haven't decided which name will be the official name of my official, you know, uh, Sinnoh. Because obviously when it comes to a lot of these small creatures, I, uh, I have like a specific name that I like to name them. Like for Jerboas, I don't know why. I've just been naming them Reginald. So whenever I have a Jerboa, it's usually called Reginald. And then, you know, if I get an otter, it's usually called Winston. Um, and then obviously we have Winston, the blue otter that I've had for literally years now. So yeah, um, actually how long have I had Winston for? Probably over four years as well, actually. I've had Mystique for like four and a half almost. I think so. But, um, yeah, so, I don't know. We just, we need a really, really good name for these guys. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna hatch that a little bit further away. Like we just said, and then I almost hatched it right on it. Okay. Let's see. We don't even have to claim it. We could just do this. Boom. And this one already, I know, is not super good. Okay, yeah, we're probably gonna go through quite a lot of those guys. But, although, you know what? I just remembered something that I want to do that I keep forgetting to do, and uh, we need to do it. So, let me quickly just do that. I'm gonna drop you down. Do I have anything on me? No? Cool. Don't worry, I don't need water. I just want to go kill myself instead. Um, <laughs> that... Okay. That sounds bad. Okay, so this is where the fun starts, all right? Now we have lots of skins that we can uh, put on a Sinnoh because obviously they can wear hats. So, um, yeah, let's have like a little fashion show here. Let me, uh, oh, did you, wait, oh, is that like a normal? Okay, yeah, cool. Let me grab that. Sweet. That's, um, it's like a normal, like non-fertilized egg. Okay, uh, we have a lot of skins in here. Uh, oh my God, look, it gave me real tech armor. Look how real this tech armor is. And by the way, I'm still getting comments about it. It's really triggering. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see. So I'm going to just pick out a couple good ones, at least I think, and then we'll pop them all onto this dude and check them out. Okay, so I want to test out all these skins. <laughs> oh, that's so silly looking. I, oh my God, I like that, but it's uh, it can't be permanent. <laughs> oh my God, dude, no. That is so cursed looking. Oh no. <laughs> all right, let's see what else we got. This one I'm actually really excited about. 
Oh, yes. Yes. Look at that. That is amazing. If only it didn't block out the eyes so much. But that is a really cool look, man. Look at him. Oh, is he going to do a little emote? No, maybe not. I thought he was. Um, all right, let's take that one off. We got to try on the top hat, of course. That that one's pretty good, too. I like that one. That one's pretty good. Uh, what else we got? <laughs> this so cursed, but let's try this one. Okay, I didn't think that would work. Fair enough. That usually doesn't work on creatures. Uh, this one. Oh, okay. I like that. I like that one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me quickly just uh, pick up this egg. Cool. Um, <laughs> all right. What else we got here? We got the vampire eyes. Ooh, that is nice. Obviously, then we can paint it and uh, and have the eyes just whatever color I want. Make them red or something. That could be scary. All right. What about this one? Oh, dude, that's hilarious looking. <laughs> Does it suit it though? Like, it, it looks nice. I like that. I'm taking that one for sure. Got the witch's hat. Oh, that one's good too. I feel like a full on hat like this is probably going to be best for them. Yeah. Uh, did I try all? I think I tried all of these ones on. What else have we got? We got a couple other ones in here that we could probably try on. I don't think the tech skin works at all, does it? Oh my god, it actually does? No way! Whoa! <laughs> Dude, that's hilarious looking. I didn't know that actually worked on creatures. Oh, I kind of like that one, but I do. I, I like to actually see the face as well, so yeah, let's uh, try these ones on. Okay. <laughs> that one's a little bit goofy. The freaking Dodo Rex. We got Dodo Wyvern. Oh, man. Oh, my. Oh, look at that. It completely just covers up the eyes. So it's almost like it's a baby Dodo Wyvern. Oh, <laughs> that is. That's weird. It's freaky. All right. Let's see. What else we got? We got the Santa hat. Oh, we got to use this one instead. Pop that one on. Hey, all right. Yeah, that one's pretty good. Could be, uh, could be good considering the season right now. This doesn't work, right? What? That one works, but that's actually not what that skin is. The one that's appearing right now is the corrupted, uh, it's this one here, the corrupted helmet, but it's showing up as the Homodeus helmet, which is weird. How did that happen? What happens when I put this one on? Okay, so that's the same apparently. Cool. Wait, where did that other skin go? Did I not take that one? Where? It just disappeared. Did it just full on disappear? I think it did. Oh, you know what? We got to try on the glasses. Uh, glasses don't work. Cool. What about this one? No, that one doesn't work either. Damn it. Where did the, where did the Homodeus skin go? It literally just disappeared. Oh, we got the Reaper skin. Let's try this one on. <laughs> that is so cursed looking. Uh, Chieftain hat, I guess. Let's try this one on. I mean, we're kind of going for all of them here. Eh, not a big fan. And then what do we, we have the bunny ears. That's the dino one. I need to use the other one, which is this one here. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, let's narrow this down a little bit because I really like the explorer hat one. This one here, the hunter hat. I really like this. I think I want to go with that because that one's really funny looking. Like, look at this little guy. Just like, <laughs> he's just chilling on my shoulder. Looking like an absolute badass. Can I grab those eggs, please? Oh, wow. That was weird. All right. There we go. And how soon until another egg? A little bit. Okay, cool. Um, let me grab that. We got three eggs right now that we can hatch. And we're just, just messing around with freaking skins. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like that hat. That one's really good. It's either that one or like the, um, what's the other one that's on it? Uh, which one is it again? This one here, the safari hat. I like that one too. You know what? I'd love the little, um, what is it called? Like the scary skull one. Is that what it's called? The one that's like from when you kill Rockwell. I might be able to get that if I enabled the Christmas event on here. I feel like that would work. Oh crap, okay. Didn't mean to let that one hatch. Uh, need to grab... Let me just leave you there for the moment. Need to grab my soul balls. Oh, this one here got a freaking double mutation? Are you kidding me? And both of the colors seem to either have landed on region three or maybe one landed on region two and obviously that one's not available. That is ridiculous. Are you actually kidding? <laughs> we just full on got a mutation on, on the two best stats as well. I'm going to keep this one and here's why. That's the best uh, health that we have and that's the best melee that we have. But the rest of the stats need to be high as well. So if I breed them, I can keep these stats and these mutations. That's cool. All right. 
I like that. That is a very nice uh, little bonus. Oh, and it was twins as well. Okay, sweet. So I feel like I'm gonna be doing this for a little bit before we actually have all of the um, all of the best stats into a couple Sinnohs. So yeah, I'll just bring you guys back in a little bit. All right, so it's a long while later, and as you can see, we have tons and tons of Sinnohs in here, uh, 70 to be precise, and uh, we finally have all the best stats. Well, not quite, because I made a mistake and I forgot to actually grab the best food stat, but that's fine. I'm I'm okay with this for the moment. So let's go ahead and chuck out this little baby. At some point, we'll try and do some mutations and get some really nice colors and stuff going. But for the moment, the plan was to just basically get the uh, all the best stats together to have a really good one on my back at all times. Um, and then obviously this one here is completely replaceable. Uh, although to be honest, I don't know if I don't know if it's gonna die because they really do save you from a lot of bad situations. Like these things are kind of insane. So yeah. Um, wow, I just noticed the stamina on this thing. God damn, that is really good. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we we gotta go ahead and imprint this thing, um, and then obviously have it grow up fully. It should take around, I think, like 20 minutes or so to fully grow up on my rates. But uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. All right, so this little baby wants to go on a walk, and is it coming? Yeah, here we go. Cool. Oh my god, it actually jumps and everything. <laughs> oh my god, dude, what the hell? That's so cute. <laughs> it's full on just like jumping at me. I love it. I really do. Oh, that's amazing. Come here, little guy. Yeah, we, uh, we gotta go ahead and change the fall distance on you. What do you want now? Lowest. Let's change it to lowest. Here we go. Let's see this jumping in action. There we go. It's fully imprinted. Cool. But it should... <laughs> just that... Just the fact that that's how they actually move along the ground is just so silly. Oh, by the way, I chucked on my Noglin Chibi. These things are so strange. Did they change the look of the Noglin Chibi, by the way? I feel like it was bigger before. I don't know. Its head is, like, definitely the right proportions that it should be, but I feel like the body used to be bigger. I can't even remember. All right, well, anyway, this thing is going to take a little while longer until it's fully grown up. Let's have it hop up. <laughs> it's so silly. Let's have it hop back up here, and, uh, yeah, we got to go ahead and chuck a hat onto it. Of course, we will be retiring the, um, this one right here, Sinnoh, but we will still keep it I, I won't get rid of it or anything like that let me go ahead and actually uh just grab that skin real quick let's put a funny one on this one uh what was good the, the clown mask was actually kind of good <laughs> it's so cursed but oh my god that is so oh oh my god that is so creepy dun dun wait wait wait, wait. let's get a look a little bit of lighting just not not enough to like dude that is that is so cursed looking that is so creepy that's like something that you <laughs> about that is, i don't know that is so cursed looking i don't like that <laughs> let's put you over there buddy i'm not sure if i want to be around you anymore all right well anyway um i think uh, well first of all i need to actually grab some water let's uh here we go boom i think i might try and make can i make flak yet what level is flak i feel like flak is like 53 right flak oh it's 56 okay i was close enough um, all right, so the best helmet that I could put on something like this would probably be chitin, which we actually have one, so cool. Let's go ahead and pop that onto there and uh, chuck this into the inventory, this little baby. Come here, little guy. And boom, wait, can I make them scream when they're babies? No, okay, mm, that, that sounds weird. Okay, anyway, I'll catch you guys in a little bit when this thing's fully grown. There we go, it's fully grown, amazing. All right, cool. So, uh, let me grab my stuff, and we'll do, like, the little maiden, uh, flight here. <laughs> Let's see. Let me pop on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We also got to put on the hat as well. Here you go, sir. Look at you. I love that. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Yeah, that, that looks pretty good. What about when we're flying like this? Yeah, that is super derpy looking. And parachute mode? Also super derpy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? I, I think it's tradition. We need to grab this purple drop because apparently they're just everywhere. Uh, by the way, the caves underneath my little tower here, there's like tons of little entrances scattered around the place. Um, I think this is the one that we saw in the last episode, right? Let me actually, you know what? It would be a smart idea to probably just pop all my armor real quick. You know, uh, I did make a couple bullets, but I guess I forgot to grab them. So we do have bullets for the rifle right now. I don't have very many. I think I made like 12 in total. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe this is not the entrance that I saw. 
I gotta be careful here because I, I do not want to end up <sighs> Okay running I wait I got to I got to see does the clap actually work on them? I need to know I need to know if the clap actually hurts these spiders No, that did not do anything. Okay, cool. Okay. We need to we need to get out of here. I did the clap It didn't work At least we know um I find out the hard way Ooh, don't hit me with those webs. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, let's just keep flying up here. Uh, cool. I don't, I don't know what level that spider was, but it was probably a super high level because they're all super high levels in there. You know what would be kind of fun, actually? I want to see at some point if we can make like a little army of cinema crops and just send them into the tunnels down there or something and just kill everything. That could potentially be a thing that we could do. It actually wouldn't be too much effort as well. I have lots of them up there that I don't know what to do with, so we could probably do that anyway uh i think that's probably gonna be it for today guys uh I, I gotta say i am absolutely just spent um this this one took a long time to do took me a long ass time to actually find these things and then obviously the breeding and everything so uh hopefully it's not a little bit shorter than they usually are but if it is then i am sorry guys if you have enjoyed this video go ahead do me a favor hit the like button like i said we're gonna need a really cool name for the cinema crops so do let me know if you have any cool suggestions down below and also we're aiming for a million subscribers by the end of the year so go ahead and subscribe if you want to be part of the first one million and uh yeah catch you in the next one